The Story of the Fisherman Once in a distant land, there lived a poor fisherman. True, he worked hard. He barely earned enough to feed his wife and three children. Every day, he went out fishing, but he rarely had a good luck. He had made a rule for himself that he would not cast his net more than four times a day, and this only added to his miseries. Each day, the poor fisherman went out fishing in the early morning. One day, he started so early that the moon was still shining in the sky. He threw his nets and waited patiently. Today, I'll surely get a good one, he thought. After a while, when he pulled the net, he felt a heavy weight in. Full of hope, the fisherman pulled out. The net enthusiastically think that he had caught a large fish. I am sure that this time I have caught a big fish. He was pl- very pleased, thinking of the money he would get by selling the fish and the food he would buy for his family. But when he pulled out the neck, he was shocked. What is this? The carcass of a donkey? The poor fisherman was disappointed. All through, he was upset. He mended his nets, which had broken in several places due to the weight of the dead donkey. And then, he threw the net into the sea for the second time. Once again, he felt a great weight in the nest. Oh, this time it must be a large fish, he thought. But to his utter dismay, a large basket full of rubbish was caught in the nest. Net. Once again, he was very discouraged. He had cast his net st- twice, but had caught nothing, and now his net were broken and dirty. The poor fisherman threw away the rubbish, and after washing and mending his nets again, he cast them for the third time. But at last, this time he only drew in stones, shells, and mud. The fisherman felt hopeless. Nevertheless, he threw his net for the last time and this time he caught a yellow jar in the net. He quickly took it out and placed it on the ground. The jar was heavy and if it was full of something, the fisherman noticed that the jar was sealed with his leg and had an emblem engraved on it. He was delighted. I'll sell it to his owner and with the money I'll buy food and clothes for my family. And so the fisherman began to examine the jar from all sides and shook it to see if it would rattle. But he heard nothing. He thought there must be something precious inside. Let me open and see it. With a lot of effort, he opened the jar with its sharp knife and turned it upside down. But to his surprise, nothing came out. Now what is this? There is nothing inside? The next moment, thick smoke came out from the jar and rose up to its cloud. It stretched over the sea and the shore, forming a heavy mist. The fisherman astonished. When all the smoke was out of jar, it gathered itself together into a thick mass and took the shape of a giant genie. When the fisherman saw such a terrible-looking genie, he wanted to run away. But he trembled so much with the fight fright that he couldn't even touch a step. However, the fisherman gathered all his courage and asked, Oh great genie, tell me, how were you shut up in his jar? The genie looked at the fisherman and said commandingly, Speak to me more respectfully before I kill you. At this, the fisherman was surprised. Why do you want to kill me when I have just set you free? cried the fisherman. The genie answered, I have to, but I'll let you choose the manner of your death. But I do not understand my mistake, the fisherman said. I cannot do anything else, replied genie. And if you wish to know the reason, listen to my story. Many years ago, when I was free, I rebelled against the king. To punish me, he shut me up in the jar and sealed it. Then he threw the jar into the sea. During the first hundred years of my captivity, I vowed that if anyone would free me, I would make him rich. 
but no one freed me. Many years passed. By in the second century, I vowed that I would give all the treasure in the world to my rescuer. And in the third, I vowed I would make him a king and grant him every three wishes every day. But no rescuer came. At last, I grew so angry. I vowed that if anyone would release me, I would kill him at once. But I would allow him to choose the manner of his death. So since you have realized me, you must die. The fisherman continued to plead for his life. I do sympathize with your misfortune, but what is my fault in this? He asked. But the genie remained firm and replied that it was impossible to spare his life. When the fisherman saw that there was no way he could convince the genie to spare him, he thought of a plan. He said, Before I die, I want to tell you tell you me uh, te- i want you to tell me the truth were you really in this jar or not of course i was answered the genie but the clever fisherman argued saying i don't believe it how can this tiny jar contain your huge body i won't believe it unless i see you inside the jar once again at this the foolish genie grew angry at once he began to change into smoke Gradually, he crept into the jar until there was nothing left of him outside. Once the genie was inside the jar, he shouted to the fisherman, Well, you suspicious fisherman, here I am inside the jar. Do you believe me now? The fisherman did not answer him. Instead, he slapped the lid of the jar shut and threw it back into the sea. And so the fisherman saved his life by using his wet. So the story has ended now. See you later. Bye.